Hey, this is Evan, and just wanted to give you a really quick flyby version of getting grades from Google Classroom into your Infinite Campus. This is a brand new feature that got rolled out this year, and I, for one, am super excited about it because it means less work for me. I use Google Classroom um, for a lot of my content, um, but what I would end up doing is I would kind of do a split screen and have you know Google Classroom over on one side and my gradebook and Infinite Campus on the other side, and I would just you know, bring information from one to the other. Well, this new feature is a lot uh, simpler and it's pretty nice. So let me show you how it works. I'm actually gonna go to this class that I haven't set up yet so you can see how to set it up. So I'm in this Google Classroom. It's my fourth period computer science discovery class. And if I go to the settings wheel up here, um, this is where I am going to link my class so you're going to go to the general um, header and then right underneath that is link to class. Now you're going to need to know the infinite campus code for that class. Mine should be 7401. I'm going to find 7401 computer science and I'm going to click link. And it should link. It shouldn't take too long. The other thing that you'll want to do is down here in the grading section, what I've done is I've gone in overall grade calculation weighted by category. This is how we are supposed to do it at Carver. And then I entered my categories and percentages down here, 90% for assessments. Practice is 10%. Okay. So I've got that figured out. Um, make sure you click the save button up here. It looks like mine's good to go. Um, but now I'm going to switch over to my fifth period class because I actually had my fifth period do an assignment today. So uh, I've got this here and what I'll actually do is I'll go in and um, see if I can edit one of these. Nope, I can't. Okay, that's okay. Um, so what I did was I went in and I gave points for uh, the kids for the work that they did today. Um, and then what you have to do, um, and this is where it might get confusing, but hopefully I can clarify this. Do you have to go back to this grades tab? Okay. And when I hit the grades tab, um, I'll see the, you know, all the students that I've graded so far. Um, and I'll see the scores that I gave them and it'll have their, the lesson or the assignment title and then the category practice. And it's out of 10 points. So these kids all did great. They got their 10 out of 10 points. Now that I've got my grades entered, I can click SIS export. This is going to export these grades over to Infinite Campus. Um, and I've already done this, but if this is your first time doing it, this button will be lit up blue and you click SIS export. And then it brings in everything just like you had it into Infinite Campus. It is so amazing. Um, it makes things uh, just so much simpler than doing the split screen and you know typing in information back and forth between infinite campus and google classroom so hopefully this was helpful to you um, i know this is going to be enormously helpful to me it's going to be a huge time saver and i'm excited to get more and more assignments out to my kids um, and export those grades into my grade book so if you have any questions on how to do this uh, please don't hesitate to reach out i'd be happy to help you thanks